As far as the graphical representation, we have already seen the uh, graphical execution of pipe, uh, instructions in a pipeline architecture using the multi-clock cycle diagram and single cycle, uh, single clock cycle diagram also. What we are going to analyze the LW and the load and the store instructions in the single clock cycle diagram. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try analyzing the LW instruction in a single clock cycle diagram. So the figure shows that the instruction being read from the memory using the address in the PC and that and then being placed in the IF ID pipeline register. The PC address and is incremented by four and then written back into the PC to be ready for the next clock cycle. So the PC is also saved in the pipeline register in case it is needed later for an instruction such as BEQ. So how does BEQ calculate the branch instruction address? So BEQ, for example, if you have BEQ, X1, X2, and then label, then the label uh, is a relative address, the address relative to the current PC. So how we add the relative address? It is the PC is coming from this path, and the relative address is coming from this immediate generator and it is being added and then go back to the loop back to the to this uh, this next mux okay so the computer cannot know which type of instruction is being fetched so it must prepare for any instruction passing potentially needed information down the pipeline okay so once the instruction is fetched the lw move forward to the next stage which is the instruction decode phase and here you can see that the register are read in the second half of the clock cycle the reason why it is um, highlighted in the second half is highlighted because it is showing that it is uh, the data from the registers are read in the second half of the clock cycle okay and similarly uh, once the data is fetched it is stored in the idx register okay similarly uh, when the lw instruction proceeded ahead it performed some execution the load instruction writes the content of a register and the sign extended immediate value from the idx pipeline register and it's them using the alu that sum is placed in the xmem pipeline register and that sum actually corresponds to the and the effective address where we need to fetch the data from in the memory. Okay, so the, once the LW instruction reaches to this point, it fetches the data, and again, um, it stores the data into the mem w write back phase. Now, once the, once the instruction reaches to this point in time, in the write back phase, what do you think uh, where the data will be written? So data will be looped back into this point and we'll write the data into this register. Which register, what do you think? So give it, give a pause and think about where the data will be written. So data is available here and it will be placed here and has to be written into the register specified by this uh, RD, the right register. So pause the video and determine where do you think um, it will be written. All right, so you see there is a bug in the wb for lw what bug is that the bug is that it's it will be writing the data into a wrong register number because the instruction that is writing in uh, writing the data back into the register let's say it's lw x1 and some uh, whatever the offset value is and then the x2 specifying the base address so the LW should be writing the data into X1. But by the time LW reaches to this state, we might have another instruction in this phase. Let's say the add instruction is being executed here, and let's say it's add X5, X6, uh, and X7. So X5, um, the RD here in this, uh, in this particular phase, RD corresponds to X5. So X5 will be specified here, and the data coming from this path will be written into X5 which is wrong register number. So we do not need to specify RD in the ID stage, rather only after WB stage. So the only the WB instruction, the, whatever the instruction in WB phase, it should be specifying what data to written. Of course, it is already specifying, but where to write the data. 
okay so we should not be specifying right routing the rd here rather it's need this path has to be updated for the pipeline architecture so the updated architecture is here so you see instead of passing the w, uh, rd and register number here we actually pass it to the idx uh, register and then they, it is passed to the XMM register. And then when the instruction moves to the next stage, it is passed to the right back stage. And then here, from here, so if it was LW instruction, it will specify where to write the data. So this is specifying where to write and what to write is also specified by this path. Okay. So updated path for RD is this one. It carry forward to all next stages and set only in the WB stage. Okay. So this was a single cycle data path for the LW instruction.